GDP numbers say that we are in a recession. Not surprisingly, the White House doesn't agree. They say only the National Bureau of Economic Research gets to make a recession call. I say this is political theater that Americans should ignore, and they should focus on what really matters. President Biden, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, and other members of the current administration don't want the country to be in a recession right now. I don't blame them. Responsibility for big economic problems like high inflation and economic downturns land on the feet of those in charge of running the country. One week before second quarter GDP was announced, the White House blog published an article trying to debunk the GDP recession standard. The article uses the opportunity to try to convince us that only the National Bureau of Economic Research gets to say when we are in a recession. So are we in a recession because GDP shrank two consecutive quarters? Or aren't we because the Bureau has yet to say so? Honestly, I don't care, and neither should you. I don't like it when a presidential administration tries to tell us all is well when it clearly is not. As the Washington Post recently said, the Biden administration has spent a lot of energy trying to manage perceptions of the economy. As I said, debate over the use of the term recession is political theater. What isn't political theater are all the actual signs of distress throughout the economy. It is those signs of distress that should have your full attention right now. Let's run down just a small handful of those troubling indicators out there. If you've been paying attention, you would know that GDP fell 0.9% in the second quarter. The Institute for Supply Management's Purchasing Managers Index barely expanded in July, while the S&P Global Flash U.S. Composite PMI showed outright contraction. The Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index remains near its all-time low. As far as inflation, it's still a king-size headache for households right now. The headline Consumer Price Index is more than 9%. You have to go all the way back to November 1981 for the last time it was any higher. Steve Hankey, professor of applied economics at John Hopkins, says inflation will stay between 6% and 7% through the end of next year. Even CNN is projecting that you're going to see inflation continue to rise for the foreseeable future. That is going to happen. And the job market? Not as strong as it's often portrayed. Non-farm payrolls did increase by half a million in July, but the number of individual workers rose by just 179,000. That suggests that most of those new jobs were claimed by people that already had a job and needed another. Also, first-time unemployment claims are near an eight-month high. And job vacancies are at their lowest point in nearly a year. As far as consumer spending, Signs show that Americans are relying on personal credit and savings in order to keep on spending. It's easy to see why, with real wage growth consistently negative thanks to high inflation, the savings rate is at the lowest point since the financial crisis, and credit card balances in the second quarter saw their largest year-over-year -year increase in more than 20 years. 
I think it's important for the ruling political regime to play it straight with the American people. I agree with this insight from the morning brew. Americans facing soaring prices for food, fuel, and housing probably don't need an elite group of economists to tell them that the vibes are bad right now. They also don't need to wait for politicians to tell them either, assuming they ever will. What they need is economic leadership to take us from where we are today to where we once were before. If you're concerned about what's going on in the economy right now, I suggest you attend one of our one-on-one -on -one web conferences with me and my education team so you can learn more. Hey guys, Joe Montana here with my man Devlin Steele. He and his team at Augusta Precious Metals are constantly putting out new information to keep you ahead of the game. Click subscribe now and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. You'll be glad you did.